in today's lecture we will discuss the cases of algorithm we have basically four cases of algorithm number one is best case now what is best case suppose we have an array of size n equal to 50 and there is a key element which we will be going to find or we have to find in that specific array so as you can see that the best case would be while searching the key element of an array best case is the case when we find the key element at first location of an array or the first index of an array example we have an array of size n equal to 50 and the key element key element is the element which we are going to find in a given array so if we find the specific element which is 10 the key element which is 10 so if we find that key element through abc algorithm we will call it it's a best case right so whenever we find a key element at the very first index we will call it a best case right the second one second one worst case what is worst case while searching the key element of an array worst case is the case when we find the key element at last location of an array what does that mean let me elaborate it for example we have a same array of size n equal to 50 and the element we are going to find in that array is again 10 so now you can see that if we find that element at the very last index of an array we will call it a worst case worst case scenario if we find at first index we will call it a best case scenario and if we find it at the last index we call it a worst case got it let's move on The third one is average case. While searching the key element of an every array, average case is the case when we find the key element in between second and second last location or index of an array. What does that mean? Let me elaborate it. For example, we have a same array of size n equal to 50. And the key element we are going to find is 10, just like previous two examples. The same array. So if we find that element here, you can see that. See the mouse closely. This is index number second. And this is, you can see the movement of the mouse. This is the second last index of an array. So if we find an element in between second and second last index or location of an array we will call it average case i hope you have understood let's move on now asymptotic case asymptotic case Asymptotic notations was developed to provide the universal way to measure the speed and efficiency of an algorithm asymptotic algorithm precisely refers for large input we measure the behavior of algorithm when input size reaches infinity what does that mean it means ki whenever we want to analyze the large data we want to analyze the infinite data so we would rather prefer asymptotic notations got it so here we have three different asymptotic notations the first one is big o n 
we call it a big o and it's a upper bound what does that mean it means ki whenever we find the key element in a given array at the very last index so we will call it a upper bound big o and the complexity would be o n square in asymptotic notation i repeat for example we have a given array and if we find a key element at the very last index of an array we will call it a upper bound and its complexity would be o n square right let's move on to theta n we call it a theta what is the theta we represent theta for tight bound what does that mean for example n is less than 3n and 3n is less than 5n so n would be the lower bound 5n would be the upper bound and 3n would be the tight bound right so we can even say that we can represent the average case with the help of a theta n in asymptotic notations i hope you have understood here is wn you can see that wn or omega n we call it omega and it represents a lower bound so whenever we find the key element at the very first index of an array so we will call it lower bound in asymptotic notation and we represents lower bound with omega n or theta n i hope you have understood so at the end if we conclude the asymptotic notations while finding the efficiency of algorithm we are always interested in worst case which means for analyzing the complexity of algorithm we only care about the highest power and ignore the rest that is why for example we have a given expression n to power 5 n having power 5 plus 4 n cube plus 3 n plus 5 so the ultimate complexity of the above expression is n 5 why because one thing is damn sure what we have discussed in lecture number 1 whenever we find the complexity of an algorithm we are always interested in the worst case and that is the reason whenever we have a expression whenever we have a complexity in the form of expression just like this so we only care about the highest power why the simple answer is the highest power represents the worst case and whenever we find the complexity of algorithm we are always always interested in the worst case because worst case represents the whole array worst case represents the highest power in worst case we go for the maximum computational steps right so with this i conclude lecture number 2